My name is David Alfaro. I am an environmental health bachelor working in the National Institute of Health in the area of environmental and occupational health. Welcome to my presentation about exposure to nephrotoxic pollutant in Las Brisas community, El Salvador. The research was supported by the Department of Geological Sciences of Ohio University. This presentation is divided into five sections. First, in the introduction, I will talk about some general information of El Salvador, a study area and the problem of pesticide exposition in a species community. Second, the objectives of this research. Third, the methodology that was used for this research. Fourth, the preliminary results about nephrotoxic pollutants in a species community. And finally, the preliminary conclusion. El Salvador is a developing country with volcanic landscape located in Central America. El Salvador is overpopulated and has heavily damaged environment, mainly due to uncontrolled pollution and agricultural activities. Due to this environmental damage, Salvadorian population is exposed to environmental pollutants as heavy metal and pesticides. In addition, in El Salvador, there are several stockpiles of obsolete pesticides, most of them located in populated areas. San Miguel is one of the most important cities of El Salvador. The city is on a plain to the northeastern of the active volcano, known as Chaparrastique, and west of Rio Grande de San Miguel, one of the major rivers of the country in whose basin are former mining areas. The British community is located in a suburban area with high social vulnerability at northeastern of San Miguel City, and close to agricultural areas. Some families do not have water service and are only supplied by shallow wells. In El Salvador, there are many former pesticide factories. Most of them still store chemical products as a result of the pesticide formulation. Until 2009, a stockpile of obsolete pesticide from a pesticide factory known as Agrogel were located near Las Brisas community. This factory was active since 1980 to the 90s and was abandoned with several metal barrels filled with toxafine and other contaminants. According to the World Health Organization, toxafine is an obsolete pesticide that has to be banished worldwide. According to the USPA, toxafine intoxication produces kidney, liver and nervous system injuries. A study by Salvadorian Environmental and Natural Resource Ministry identified a withdrawal 92 barrels of toxaphene and other dangerous chemicals from the rains of this factory. Besides this, were identified toxaphene water pollution in night wells located in the community. Las Brisas community has a high prevalence of chronic kidney disease, non-traditional causes, also known as CKD of non-traditional causes, a disease whose main risk factors are related exposure to toxic pesticides such as heavy metals and that affects Salvadorian agriculture communities. A previous medical study was carried out in this community. It identified a high prevalence of chronic kidney disease that is not explained by traditional causes. This type of disease was described as a chronic interstitial nephritis related to environmental toxicity and occupational risk factors. Heavy metal and pesticide exposure are serious threats to human and environmental health. Arsenic is a common water pollutant in El Salvador due to hydrothermal fluids related to the volcanic environment. However, anthropic source related to industrial and urban waste and to agrochemical impurities also seem to contribute to pollution. Arsenic is a toxic element with carcinogenic and nephrotoxic properties. Paraquat is the pesticide most widely used in El Salvador, and it causes the highest number of acute poisoning according to the Ministry of Health of El Salvador data. Paraquat acute poisoning produces kidney, liver, and lung injuries. According to the importance of these pollutants in El Salvador and its possible relation with CKD, present study looks for the presence of this pollutant in water in this community. So, the first aim of this study is to identify risk of population exposure to arsenic and paraquat in water in a Swiss community, San Miguel. The second one is to evaluate possible sources of water pollution. 
waters from community wells and surrounding rivers during dry season in 2014 were sampled. Samples chemical analysis was carried out by the National Reference Laboratory of Ministry of Health of El Salvador in order to identify arsenic and paraquat content. All samples were referenced through GPS device and resulting laboratory data was stored in databases compatible with geographical information system. Between 2010 and 2014, several field trips were carried out in the community's area and in former factory agro job in order to identify through visual inspection possible pollution sources. Runoff analysis around former factory area was carried out through GIS software. About result, we can see on this table the different fault pollutants in the environmental sample. Toxafin was found in 2010 on a study by Salvadorian Environmental and Natural Resource Ministry. Identifying toxafin water pollution in nine wells located in the community. According to World Health Organization, toxafin is an obsolete pesticide that has to be banished worldwide because it causes endocrine disorders and is nephrotoxic and carcinogenic. The other pollutant was found in the present study. The first one is Paraquat, who has a moderate toxicity and can cause nephrotoxic liver and lung damage associated to Parkinson. Its persistence in soil may be between 1 and 14 years. The second one is arsenic, which as we say above, can be natural present. However, is nephrotoxic, carcinogenic and neurotoxic. To this is added that has a long persistence in soil. This map shows that in the study area there is present of arsenic in rivers and groundwater. Arsenic content is higher in water from wells surrounding the former pesticide factory reaching a maximum value of 0 0.01 mg per liter, which is equal to the standard proposed by Salvadorian guidelines for drinking water safety. This other map shows dangerous content of paraquat in groundwater and surface water of light breezes, reaching more than 20 times the standard proposed by Salvadorian guidelines of drinking water quality. The water sample with highest concentration of paraquat was obtained from a stream southeastern of the community. However, values among 1 and 1.5 mg per liter were obtained in domestic wells in this breezes community. Instrumentation quantification limit was 0 0.62 mg per liter, a value 20 times higher than Salvadorian standard. Those values lower than quantification limit could exceed the standard. According to distribution of agriculture areas, farming activities are the most probable source of paraquat pollution and maybe can contribute to arsenic pollution. Runoff analysis of the story area shows that former pesticide factory is on the top of a small draining area that compromises majorly of Las Brisas community. In general, this catchment area has a gentle slope between 1 to 3 percent, thus there is not high erosion rate. However, runoff caused by heavy rains like this produced by tropical storm or hurricanes, relatively common in El Salvador, can remobilize chemical waste particles present in the plant transport them down slope and deposit them in the community area. So further study should carry out soil analysis in order to identify toxaphene and arsenic in the community. Finally, as conclusions, we can say that arsenic and paraquat contaminants occur in rivers and groundwater of La Grises community. At some sampling point, a standard proposed by Salvadorian guidelines of drinking water quality are exceeded. Thus, groundwater and surface waters of the community cannot be used for human consumption and are a serious threat to local ecosystem. Former pesticide factory is accessible and still poses major threats because there are chemicals and laboratory waste on the plant floor. The source of paraquat contamination seems related to agriculture activities in agriculture areas. Not that the areas down from the factory in the Rio Grande do not have high levels of paraquat suggesting a different source. 
Chemical weights in former pesticide plant or the volcanic solids could be the source of arsenic in the nervi community wells. Majority of settlements of Labrissas are located down the gradient from agrogel factory. Runoff waters derived from former pesticide factory can contaminate soils, surface and groundwater of this community. Soil pollution in the community should increase after heavy rains due to sedimentation of chemical waste particles remobilized from former factory. Further studies should carry out soil analysis in order to identify toxophene in this runoff area. Las Brisas population presents serious exposure to arsenic, to paraquat and toxaphene. These nephrotoxic pollutants could explain the high prevalence of chronic interstitial nephritis that has been identified on this population. Clinical toxicological studies to local population should be carried out in order to identify the possible links between the nephrotoxic pollution and this type of chronic kidney disease and also with other related diseases. Well, this was my presentation about exposure to nephrotoxic pollutant in the business community. Thanks for your attention.